Michelle, you get to be the very first guest on the day. Oh, you know what I was How thinking about that this morning. Oh, I got a hug. So That's honored. very nice. So uh, this is Michelle Stretch. She comes to us from Compass Home. We've got two hours together, but for the entire day, we've got a whole bunch of items that are brand new. Yeah. If you're someone who is not a big fan of winter, that's why the groundhog is such an important beast around here. It really here. is. Okay. Uh, we're going to start getting ready for spring. This is a faux plant that does not look like a faux plant. I know. I, I love that. I do too. I use a lot of faux plants in my home. So yeah, Compass Home, right? We mentioned that. We've here, we're here for nine years now. I can't believe it. Um, and we have really great faux plants for you, innovative ideas. This is awesome. And I want to say, Dan, you know, we have two choices here. This, okay. This is the Golden Pothos, okay? And they are, the pot's included, so it's already potted right there. It doesn't come out of that pot, but you can plant that in the ground because they're outdoor safe. And look how realistic. By the way, we already have that beautiful, mature growth there. And then the other one, this is the pink petunia. Yeah, I know. Isn't that our, our so Our live plants, we do live sweet. plants with, with several different companies. <clears throat> and they're always very popular, but there is some attention that must be involved. You've got to water, you've got to fertilize, you've got to give it a little bit of love. The fastest growing area in Cute. plant sales right now is absolute faux. But these are outdoor faux. That's the big difference. Yeah, these are outdoor safe too. We do treat these to delay sun fade. So go ahead and put them outside if you want. You know, I was thinking, I don't know if I'd necessarily plant mine in like the ground in the garden. You could do that if you wanted to. But I think if you have container plants, maybe if you picked up the, the Today's Special Value, you're doing something in containers. Yep. This can go right in the edge and it can drape over the side like fillers, or excuse me, spillers would. You don't have to wait for it to grow and it already looks great. But look how good this looks just popping this into, this is all I did here. If you want to have a nice little bit of greenery in your home, which yeah. I know a lot of us do, I'm about 80% faux at home, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was thinking about it. I do some live plants at I, home, but I do a lot of faux. I work and it in television. Up and we have a lot of faux we, going on. You know, that's about accurate <laughs> for me as a person, too. Well, but, well it's all no. about Compass Home has, has perfected the way Mother Nature colors plants. And you'll notice everything from even the veining on the leaves. Look at that. I know. To the fact that the back of the leaf is a different color than the front. Mm -hmm. That's usually how Mother Nature works. And, and they look absolutely lifelike. What really made this different was the idea of the tendrils. The idea that it cascades yes. and it drapes and it, it gives you some motion and some flow that you don't anticipate. And even up close, they look very lifelike. I mix faux with, with live. I know. Because it's just exactly. easier. Yeah, that's exactly what I do, and there's how easy it is. So I do love to, you can find a lot of faux plants, but quite frankly, I haven't really seen many that are draping like this. So you know or, what? Or yeah. outdoor rated. Or outdoor it's rated. It's one thing to have silk plants for inside your home. Yeah. But there's not a lot of people who manufacture for outdoors. How about something like this, too? Listen, I just had a little fun with that. Where did you, where'd you find this little cage? I found That's that out, out in the warehouse here. I got a little oh. help. But how about, you know, if you wanted to just decorate in your home like that, the beauty of something like this is you can use it anywhere, indoors, outdoor. It doesn't, you know, you don't have to worry about sun or shade or whatnot. You can put this around your home, inside, a kinda, bathroom, a bedroom. Kind of where are you going to put yeah. that? Anyway, there you go. So there it's draping again. I just I just decided I would play with it. So I just have, showed you another idea. We were talking there. about Groundhog Day earlier. Have we you were. ever been to Punxsutawney? I have not. You haven't? No, I haven't. As, and you grew up here in Pennsylvania. That's Western PA. That's a little bit of a drive. Doesn't matter. It's still PA. <laughs> it's a drive. What did you just disown the entire western half of our state? <laughs> so you have been there. I, I I tried to do a show there. Oh, okay. On 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 Groundhog Day. Oh my gosh, we, that's we, amazing. We couldn't do the show, Michelle. Why? Okay, first of all, <laughs> the entire concept of Groundhog Day. This started back in 1887. It's a long time ago. Okay. Uh, never have I seen a holiday that screams an idea that two guys might have come up with in a bar. And this one really does, I out of all did. of them. Yeah, some guy goes, you know, I hate winter. I just, I hate it. So? Let's go out to the woods. Get a groundhog. Pull a groundhog out of a hole. <laughs> Uh, See know, what he says. Now that you're saying that, I, how many of us really thought about where it originated? Yeah. So yeah, now we know. Now we That's know exactly happen. how we're, it We're going to try to keep you abreast, live, 
uh, because officially it happens at like 7:30 a.m. Okay, and I'm if, excited. And if he see, do you know what? Do you know that if he sees a shadow? Then it's six more weeks of winter. Yeah, right. I'll, I'll let you in on a little story. I did see a robin already, though. Okay, I'll, I'll let you little little hint. If you look on the calendar, Groundhog Day is always exactly six weeks from the end of, okay. of winter. The groundhog has Joke never been is wrong. On us. Yeah, it's true. Either way, bets on it. Hmm. It's so good to have you back. It's nice to see you. This is the first time I've seen Michelle face to plants. face in about three. There's, they're wonderful. They're gorgeous uh, and very affordably priced for the finest quality of faux. Twenty-six dollars and ninety-eight cents brings them to you. We've.